Hey there, welcome in guys. June 19th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for water signs. Uh, a little word of warning. <laughs> These June 19th readings. The universe is taking no more bullshit. If people are inert and not taking action, the universe is not. It's like, because um, <laughs> there's been a lot of retrogrades this year. I don't know if you guys follow uh, much astrology or not, but um, things are going into retrograde. We always talk about the Mercury retrogrades. You know, that's kind of a big topic of conversation when that happens. And it's only for like 30 days, blah, blah, blah. But Mars is going into retrograde um, June 26th. And that's about being, it's very difficult to take forward action. But you can renovate. You can look around your life and see what needs to be revisited. Okay? It's about closing down things that need to be closed down, finishing old business, things along those lines. And it's going to stick around for quite a while. I think it's 180 days or something like that, at least till the end of summer. Um, there's a lot going on. So uh, take a look and see, and then look and see where that is in your chart. Take a look at all the retrogrades that are going on. Neptune went into retrograde June 18th, yesterday. This is a uh, reading for June 19th. So um, that is about like um, being in denial. Okay, because Neptune is very dreamy, right? And negative aspect of that is um, being, you know, two fairy dust and unicorns about things and not really seeing the picture for what it is. And if, you know, Mars is going into retrograde too, then when you see it for what it is, it's hard to take action on it. But if it is a situation that's already ongoing, it's a good time for you to revisit uh, stuff that you have been not attending to. Okay. So let's see water signs, what's going on with you guys. It's also the summer solstice this week. So we're moving officially into summer. Summer solstice is a very big manifesting time. It's a big celebration. Big important celebration. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> I swear, if I see... Okay, three of cups, there's the solstice. I got this just a little... Boy, these readings are really intertwined today. All right, so three of cups, the summer solstice, the happiness and joy coming together as friends. Uh, friend zone, you might have been friend zone. This is a, um, but it's, by and large, it's good. Like, being friends, I always go when Harry met Sally, you know how they're friends. At the end, she says, you know, at first, when we met each other, we didn't like each other. And then we met, and we became friends. And then we weren't. And then we fell in love, right? Like, that's, <laughs> that's when Harry met Sally in a nutshell. So this now is at the part of being friends, being in the friends place. Water sign. Oh my word. Look at you guys. Woo. Heavily, heavily fire uh, energy here. Um, so you water sign that you have four of cups, king of wands, six of cups. What are you not seeing? You're not seeing action towards soulmate the relationship here your person that you're connected with here lovers son emperor feeling in charge feeling happy feeling joyful because they've moved towards their soulmate because look at the relationship here is very resistant seven of wands four of pentacles holding on to old things Knight of Pentacles, slow and plodding. There's something here, this Four of Cups. I'll tell you one thing. This is the most cheerful reading I've seen. What's this Four of Cups energy here? Three of Cups, Four of Cups. Page of Swords, Page of Cups. So there could be some, uh, you're very focused on children right now. Very focused on that. Uh worrying, lots of worry. Um, lots of worry here. You're worried that your person is making a, a choice 
Leo energy for a fire sign. You or your person is making a choice for a fire sign. If you're with a fire sign right now, there's also Gemini here, um, there's lots of worry around children. There's lots of worry about what's going on. Your partner seems very happy in their own right, but the relationship here has, is, has problems. The energy of the relationship is stuck. You're feeling it too, four of cups. They, they might not be feeling it. This person you're connecting with here might not be feeling that. They're feeling happy that they've made a decision. Feeling in charge. Feeling in charge. It's interesting because um, this Six of Cups here, soulmate, past life, it's almost like you're feeling disconnected you're not looking at the soulmate, not really seeing that they are the fire sign doing, moving, or being happy in a choice they've made, a decision that they've made. So there's some worry here. Um, one here for the lover, sun, emperor. That's big energy there. Baggage, eight of swords. Oh, they've they have this. They are getting rid of their baggage. They've made a decision. King of Swords makes decisions, okay? And they're cutting loose anything that was like this. Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. If you guys have felt stuck for some time, it's likely they've made a decision to move forward in a more grounded way, in a, in a taking charge kind of way. They're cutting themselves free. So if this person is someone you're with right now, they're moving forward in a different direction. If this is somebody who you um, want to have in your life, a potential relationship, right? You're focused on other things. You see that this person is a soulmate, but you're focused on other things. You're focused on your kids. You could be focused on work. And it's causing the relationship to be all Ketty Wumpus. Do you know what I mean? Like it's causing, it's causing some issues of resistance here. Meantime, this person has made a decision to get rid of baggage and they're like getting healthier. They're getting better. They're feeling good, clear, in charge. Definitely. It's out of balance. This is out of balance. <laughs> All right, my loves, we're going to do an extended read for this. Um, blocks to love, actions to take. Um, we'll get some messages here from Gemini. Gemini, Leo, Aries person. We'll see how this is unfolding for them. Well, their messages really are for you, though, okay? This is about for you. And then let's see how the relationship is unfolding. I'm concerned there's so much resistance here. One card. Why is there so much resistance? Four of Pentacles. Somebody holding on. That Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Somebody holding on. Yeah, it's like, this is something about making decisions. Two of Wands. This came up in the Earth Sign one, too. This is something about deciding what makes you happy, deciding what makes you passionate, deciding. There's like real uh, conversation going on internally, though. It's like no talkie. No talkie, um, but there's decisions being made internally about what to do, yet there's no uh, relationship decisions being made. Okay, do you understand? Someone's getting very clear on what they want. You, you are focused on something else. You could be focused on if... I mean, you could be stalking them a little bit. Like, why are they so happy? I remember, where did I see, I forget what show it was, that they had their night, their, their night that they have sex every week. It's usually Wednesday. It's not only Wednesday, but it's always Wednesday, right? And then he hasn't Wednesdayed me in like two or three weeks. 
So she starts stalking him and sees he has new love, and then that gets gets worried about that. You're worried about children. Six of Cups here, Page of Swords, Page of Cups. Worried about children. Okay. All right, so let's do an extended read. Uh, click on the link below for June 19th for Water Signs, and I will see you on the other side.